September 9th, 2010. 12.35 a.m. My worst fears are confirmed. Ben has tampered with my summary of Ben WMV. I looked at the summary that I posted on various forums for the Ben WMV file and parts have been omitted. There is no mention of Ben existing outside the game. There is no mention of the Moon Children. How could he have been that quick to delete the post without me noticing? I'm wondering if maybe it appeared to me that I was posting everything, but in reality, Ben was posted his own censored version. I'm going to ask Ben why he did it. 12.50am He isn't responding to me on Cleverbot, it's just giving the generic responses it usually does. I'm just talking to a bot this time. 1.24am I think Ben is mad at me. 10.43am The moon children appeared in my dreams last night. They lifted up their masks to reveal their hideously disfigured faces. Maggots crawling out of their orifices, shrunken black holes where their eyes should be, a yellow smile that slowly grew bigger and bigger as they came closer to me. They told me that they wanted to play. I tried to run from them, but the four children pinned me down to the ground with surprising strength. Over them stood the happy mask salesman, announcing that he had a new mask that he wanted me to try. In his spastic sudden movements, matching his in-game appearance, he took out a mask modelled off someone's face that I couldn't recognise, a younger-looking face, and handed it to the moon children. Giggling, they latched it to my face, their horrible broken bodies bouncing up and down. Two of them held me down while the other two began to sew the mask onto my face, my shrieks and screams caused the happy mask salesman's face to turn into the most horrific smile that I've ever seen. He sporadically moved around, examining this procedure like a curious doctor, in that impossible movement. I flailed around, but it was no use. My eyes rolled in the back of my head because of the pain. It felt so real, but I couldn't wake up. I couldn't wake up no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't wake up. After the mask was melded onto my flesh, they began sewing my legs together, then my arms. The horrific feeling of a needle puncturing your legs and pulling them in, rupturing your Achilles tendons and tying them together, resonated throughout my entire body. I tried to scream, but the mask was pressed so tightly against my face that it was my new face. And my new face had no mouth. I didn't make a sound. I tried telling myself in my head that I was dreaming. Tried telling myself again and again. And suddenly the moon children stopped and looked at me. They just stared. And the happy mask salesman slowly bent down and stared at me inches away from my face and grinned when he simply said you've met with a terrible fate haven't you before the moon children resumed with increased vigor i couldn't wake up i couldn't wake up it wouldn't let me wake up until they had crafted me into another elegy statue i woke up sweating crying and shaking uncontrollably i immediately ran to my computer and went for ben Ninth of the ninth, ten. Conversation one. Answer me, Ben. Welcome back. What's the point of doing this? Why? Amusing to see. How? Fun to play. Fun to play with you. Make you feel safe. I wonder how you would have reacted. To what? If I hadn't revealed myself and stayed hidden, only doing little things to play with you. Close out your windows, turn off your computer, move your mouse by itself. Little things make you wonder if I'm there, but you never know. Give you little hints that I am. I wanted to do something different with you. You did this before? Yes, and I 
older again. To who, Ben? Mm. Did you know Ben? Won't tell that information to you. How did Ben die? You know. No, but how did he drown? Won't tell that to you. Why? It is reserved for another. Who? Another who asks. When? Later. <laughs>